Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Indian Academy. So guys, over here in today's topic, we are going to learn about the basics of all the machines which is used in the manufacturing processes that is nothing but the modern lathe machine. Well guys, this particular lathe machine is invented in 1797 by Mr. Henry Maudsley and like he discovered, he manufactured the first ever screw cutting lathe machine and from that particular point the lathe machine gets like there are various advancement on that particular lathe machine and nowadays we can see this particular heavy duty lathe machine which we can see almost in every engineering sector uh, almost from a job shop production system up to the mass production system in every production unit there has to be one lathe machine so guys there are n number of the operations we can carry out on the lathe machine such as the facing turning boring drilling rimming counter sinking counter boring knurling uh, parting off so these are you know the some of the operations that we can carry out on the lathe machine and this particular lathe machine can be called as the universal lathe machine so guys over here in today's video we are going to learn about the lathe machine its various parts of the lathe machine also we are going to learn the some of the functions of the lathe machine and what are the types of the operations we can carry out on the lathe machine so guys please do watch this video till the end and if you having any doubts any queries you can ask me by the end of this video so guys if you're new over here on my education channel please do subscribe it and please press the bell icon so whenever i upload a new educational informative video you will get instant notification so guys without wasting any time let's begin with our today's topic that is nothing but the let machine so guys over here you can see this is the industrial representation of the modern heavy duty let machine well over here this particular let machine works on the basic principle of the metal removal from a single point cutting tool this particular cutting tool is held rigidly at the tool post and this particular cutting tool is fed against the rotating workpiece the workpiece is held securely tightly on the chuck the chuck can, is the work holding device in the lathe machine well over here the chuck can be either three jaw chuck or else four jaw chuck so the tool is fed against the rotating workpiece over here and the material gets removed we can do turning operation over here we can do facing operation over here also we can uh, adjust the angle also we can carry out the taper turning in this particular scenario well guys this is nothing but the overall like principle of the working of the lathe machine over here the tool is fed against the rotating workpiece and the material gets removed so that is the basic idea of the lathe machines working so now let's talk about the different types of the lathe machine like in a 1797 Henry Maudsley he like uh, manufactured a simple screw cutting lathe machine and from that particular point like there are various advancement in the lathe machine over here we can check out this various types of the lathe machine such as the speed lathe this particular speed lathe can be suitable for the centering spinning polishing and woodworking operations the next one is the engine lathe the engine lathe can be of the either belt drive or else the motor driven or else it can be of the gear head drive also there are several lets such as bench lathe, capstan and turret lathe, tool room lathe. also there are some of the special purpose types of the lathe machines which are available that can be of the wheel lathe, gap bed lathe, or else t lathe. so guys these are nothing but the some of the different types of the lathe machines so over here guys in today's video we are going to talk about this heavy duty production lathe. So guys over here you can see that this is the industrial representation of the lathe machine. This particular lathe machine you can uh, like spot this type of the lathe machine from a small job shop production system to the heavy mass production systems. Like uh, in a mass production units you can see the higher versions of this type of the lathe machines that can be computerized numerical, numerically controlled. That is the CNC type of the lathe machines you can see there. But this is the lathe machines you can spot everywhere almost in every manufacturing industry. So basically now let's talk about the what are the main parts of the lathe machine. So first of all this particular lathe machine will be having at the center it will be having the lathe bed. The lathe bed that is the important parameter and this particular lathe bed 
supports the all the uh, major instruments all the major uh, like uh, components on it such as the headstock headstock at the at the center there will be a carriage this particular carriage is a complete unit this particular carriage it is a unit and that particular carriage consists of the apron upon that particular apron there will be the saddle on that particular saddle there will be the cross slide for the cross movement of the tool and upon that particular cross slide there will be the compound rest and on that particular compound rest there will be the compound slide this particular compound slide will be having the angular notation over there to to carry out the angular taper turning operations like the they will you can uh, you can easily take the angular cuts in the lathe machine basically so this is the reason the compound slide is provided over there and on that particular compound slide the tool post is there the main function of the tool post is to secure tightly the cutting tool basically that is the single point cutting tool is held rigidly on that particular tool post so this is nothing but the total carriage unit <clears throat> at the front side you can see the some sort of the levers and the wheels to move the carriage like towards the headstock and away from the tail stock head stock <clears throat> so this is nothing but the carriage unit which like which slides over the lathe bed the over here the this is the head stock this particular head stock is a work holding device this particular head stock can be either three jaw or else four jaw that depends upon the type of the lathe or else it depends upon the type of the head stock that we are using basically so Uh, like a workpiece gets inserted in that particular head stock and it is like held rigidly it is held tightly the tightness has to be ensured without actually turning on the lathe machine so when we turn on the lathe machine this uh, head stock will starts rotating okay and the uh, work or else by uh, job will start rotating over here also there is the another major component over here on the lathe machine that is nothing but the tail stock at the other hand in front of the head stock you can spot tail stock this particular tail stock also slides over the lathe bed the main function of the uh, tail stock is to support the workpiece while doing the different operations like while carrying out the turning operations while carrying out the taper turning operation on the lathe machine we can use this the tail stock like on the tail stock we can mount the live center as well as dead center so these are the two attachments that we can use on the tail stock so this is the live center and this one is the dead center that we can use along with the tail stock to support the workpiece while carrying out the different operations also while carrying out the knurling operation we can support the workpiece from the other side by using the live center so guys this carriage unit and the tail stock unit both slides over on the lathe bed so the material of the lathe bed has to be you know it is it should be having more toughness it should not deflect under the heavy load it should not produce any kind of vibrations so this particular material is like finished and it is made up of the cast iron and the overall body of the lathe machine is made of the cast iron itself so over here the material of the lathe bed is nothing but the cast iron that is alloyed with chromium and nickel so this is the super finished material of the lathe bed so that the uh, this uh, tail stock and the carriage can easily slides over this uh, lathe bed basically also guys this particular when the carriage unit moves you can see a small like a lid screw is there this particular lid screw is used to engage and disengage the half nut that is nothing but the half nut mechanism so while carrying out the threading operations this particular lid screw is used like the if we engage the half nut mechanism in the lid screw we can carry out the threading operation so guys now let's talk about the different types of the operations that we can perform on the lathe machine so guys we can perform like a facing we can pr perform drilling operation rimming operation boring counter boring also we can carry out the knurling operation parting off operation so these are the various operations we can perform on the lathe machine like uh, for the parting off operations we can call uh, this particular operation as a grooving operation we can also carry out the polishing operations from a, uh, a polish paper like right? we can wrap around the 
rotating workpiece and we can carry out the polishing as well over here so guys uh, over here like uh, while working on the lathe machine there are three types of the fits we can given we can give to the cutting tool basically we can carry out the longitudinal movement of the cutting tool like as this particular cutting tool is uh, like rested on, on head on the tool post and the tool post is mounted on the carriage and the carriage will slide over the lathe bed that is the longitudinal movement like we can give the longitudinal feed movement to the tool also we can give the cross movement like as this particular cross slide is present and just because of this particular cross slide we can do the cross movement of the tool like in the x direct uh, in the y direction also we can give the angular feed to the tool like there is the compound rest there will be there will be the compound slide over there and you just because of this particular compound slide we can give the angular cuts we can carry out the angular cutting operation over here so the angular feed we can give so there are three types of the feed we can give in the lathe machine that is nothing but the longitudinal cross and the angular one so guys while working on the lathe machines we have to take care of the three things basically those particular three things uh, are very much important from subject point of view that is nothing but the feed speed and the depth of cut so over here while working on any of the lathe machine if we want the higher surface finish the depth of the cut has to be minimum so that we will be getting the smooth surface finish over here also guys this particular surface finish sometimes it depends upon the type of the material that we are using for the working on the lathe machine and the nature of the material removal like if the material removal in the form of like burrs the material has to be brittle if the material gets removed in the form of chips the material we are using this particular material on which we are working that particular material is the ductile one so basically guys like uh, to get the a uh, higher surface finish the depth of the cut and the nature of the material is very much important so guys there are three things like the feed speed and the depth of the cut we have seen the depth of the cut so what about the feed feed is the movement of the tool relative to the work in a simpler terms we can call it as like the feed is the uh, the <coughs> advancement of the tool for each revolution of the workpiece like how much mm the tool travels for each revolution of the work so that is nothing but the feed and it is expressed in the millimeter per revolution if we talk about the speed that is the rpm of the rotation of the workpiece or we can call it as the rpm of the chuck the depth of the cut this particular depth of the cut is how much mm like we are giving like inserting like if we are like giving 2 mm cut or it's 1 mm cut 0.1 mm cut 0.5 mm cut so this is nothing but the depth of the cut basically this particular depth of the cut we can calculate by using the formula of that is nothing but the d1 minus d2 divided by 2 so over here d1 is the initial diameter of the workpiece and d2 is the final diameter of the workpiece so we can uh, like the calculate the depth of the cut over here so this is nothing but the feed speed and the depth of the cut that is the these are the terms which are related to the lathe machine so guys this is nothing but the sum of the major information about the lathe machine so in today's date this is the versatile machine of across almost every industry that is the lathe machine so that is it for today guys if you have any doubts any queries you can comment below also guys please don't forget to subscribe to my educational channel engineers academy thank you so much guys for watching this educational video please do subscribe to my educational channel Oh, 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 oh,